Hello friends, it's me Vivian and I'm here with a new pen pal with me. I have two videos for you today. The first thing I'm gonna do is show you how I make that adorable envelope flip book and then I'm gonna do a, um, a Your Creative Studio unboxing. So that'll be at the end of this video. I have once again received a beautiful box of goodies um, I do collaborations with your creative studio more often and this is one box that is flower themed. I am so excited. So I decided to make a little envelope flip book and I'm going to show you how. Um, I'm going to show you how. So the first thing you need for this tutorial is two envelopes that are the same size. I decided to make mine with that green and blue paper from a notebook I had lying around. It doesn't matter the size as long as they are the same. So you could use handmade envelopes or store bought or it doesn't matter. Just as long as you can slide them into each other, which is what I'm doing here. So that's step two. You glue the flap of, in my case, the blue envelope into the green envelope and then you glue the green flap onto the blue envelope. Or if you wanna save weight, you can also cut that off, but I actually kinda like how that looks. Then for the second part of the this tutorial, tutorial, <laughs> you're gonna need a piece of paper, or in my case, two pieces of paper because my paper is single-sided. Um, that is slightly smaller than the two envelopes when opened to create a little page in the middle. So because my paper is single-sided, I decided to glue two together. I picked two that were different and I managed to glue together two that were exactly the same. <laughs> I'm a little sad about that, but <laughs> here's where I realized my mistake. I can't change it, so we're just gonna roll with it. And then what I do to um, put this page into the flipbook or into the base is I actually punch three holes and I stitch that in there. I don't have a technique for this. I always just do something random, but you just um, use a needle and thread and then you tie a knot and then it's done, <laughs> basically. Long story short. So um, I didn't film that part because it's kind of boring. But anywho, on to the fun part, which is the decorating. If you're wondering why I'm so quickly out of breath, there is a simple answer. When I'm recording this tutorial or this voiceover, I actually have COVID. So when you're watching this, don't worry, I will be feeling all better. But right now I'm very quickly out of breath, which is great. Luckily, or I don't know if it's luckily, but I had a couple of extra days off. So I have plenty of time to get feel better soon. And I'm actually not even feeling that bad. It's just really quickly out of breath and sore muscles and just, you know, like the, the, the the cold symptoms like sneezing and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm relatively okay, <laughs> but it's annoying. But I realized I haven't been feeling creative at all lately. I know I say that more often, but this time it has been literal months since I felt creative and that sucks, <laughs> but I still like sitting in my craft room and I'm really hoping that once I feel better, I will actually get some crafting done. But I realized that I really wanted to, to make something and upload something. And even if it's not actually making something with my hands, I decided that editing a video of myself crafting is gonna be the next best thing. So I'm hoping that watching myself craft this project uh, brings back some of my own creativity. Um, in the meantime, I know that I always share tips and tricks for what to do when your creativity is gone. But if you guys have any for me, I would be eternally grateful because I don't know how to get it back. Um, my plan for tomorrow, because tomorrow is Sunday, at least when I'm editing this, is to clean my desk, like vacuum it because the cats love sitting up here and clean it and organize it. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, I can finally work on my Patreon project because I'm hoping to return to Patreon on the 1st of March. So by the time this video is online, I'm either back on Patreon or I'm not. <laughs> but I have this idea in mind. I have this theme that I really, really want to do for Patreon. This challenge that I want to do with my patrons as like my return theme. 
and I have this project that I really want to make and I have a basket full of goodies that I can use and I'm just so anxious to actually start that if only I knew how to get myself started um, so I'm really hoping that by making my space cozy again maybe lighting a candle grabbing myself some tea tomorrow I will actually be able to finally do some crafting because sometimes it's literally my brain just getting in my own way and one thing I always say for when someone else has a creative block is to start small and to start with something that is not intimidating or start with something that nobody has to see and that is pretty much the opposite of what I'm planning to do tomorrow which is making a challenge video for Patreon because although everyone on Patreon is super lovely and I'm sure many people will be happy that I'm back I am putting that pressure on myself like I'm telling myself this video has to be great and it has to be exactly what I envision because I'm so excited about this theme I feel like the video has to be superb as well so I'm kind of not following my own advice it might be better to start with something that is actually small and not intimidating um, or I have to change my mindset and tell myself that this video is gonna be good no matter the outcome <laughs> so either I need to change my attitude or I need to change the project that I'm working on but I also know that I've been wanting to create that video for so long now and I think that it's kind of maybe in the way of my creativity like if I get that video out of the way then I will be able to to continue with other things or something so I'm just really hoping that tomorrow is my day and by the time you all watch this I will be back in business with crafting and videos and all of that but if not I have some backup plans <laughs> I also still have a um, an incoming PO box mail video that I have to film and I also have some small creator haul videos that I want to film so maybe that will help me um, because I am in my craft room like I am right now doing this voiceover and who knows maybe I will um, be inspired to actually make something next but if you have any tips and tricks do let me know it might also be nice for other people to get some inspiration so in the meantime um, I have been decorating this envelope I think I actually struggled with this a lot and I want to give a big shout out to Amanda from Your Creative Studio because I've worked with many brands or a couple of brands in the past that um, would always be very pushy and that would email me every other day saying when can we expect the video are you done do you have pictures blah 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 we expect this and that and Amanda's not like that at all. Amanda is really great. The only time she messages me is to say, hey, I know you're still working on the other video, but would you like a new box? And that's fantastic because this project, I worked on it for literal months. I started it in the summer and I finished it somewhere early this year. So I think it's been about half a year in the making and not once did I get an annoyed message. So. Although I feel guilty and although I would have loved to have this video out earlier, I very much appreciate that um, Amanda did not put any pressure on me because I don't think this anxious creative person could handle any more pressure. <laughs> so um, there is that. Why is this not zoomed in? Let me quickly adjust that. Okay, I'm back. I adjusted it. You guys didn't even notice that I was gone. Isn't that nice? But anywho, um, I'm making this video now. I'm editing this video now. I am just decorating it with the die cuts that came with the set. My absolute favorite part in this box for sure. All the floral die cuts. I mean, come on. I mean, it feels like this box is made for me. And what I also like, I think I'm going to say that in the unboxing as well. But for those of you who are going to click away after the tutorial, I love that this one has like more color because usually it's a lot of vintage muted browns and now so much color. I absolutely love it. So I'm just working on each page kind of like at the same time. I'm just sticking things down whenever I feel like it. But I think what I found most difficult about this project, because I struggled with it for quite a while, uh, what I found most difficult about it is that the bleen, the bleen, 
the bling and grew, the green and blue paper that I used for the envelopes that came from a random notebook I had, I think they're actually too light for the rest of the color. So I found it difficult to match the goodies to the envelopes because in the end it worked, but in the beginning, I think there's too much difference between, it's not like in the same color range and that annoyed me for a while and I struggled with it so much. But adding these craft paper um, little touches with the circle punch, that really helped. And what I also like doing when I am not entirely sure if something matches is to add little touches with either a black pen, like I did in this video, or a white jelly roll, which I also sometimes do. I think I'm gonna end up doing that to the front of the flip book, or I already did that, I forgot. But that kind of ties everything together. So if you're struggling like me to make the pages match, add a common element to all or most of them so in my case that's the jelly roll or in my other videos that would be the jelly roll or the black pen and in this case it is the craft paper so many pages will have some craft paper element such as the little tag that i used for my washi tape sample so the wax seals i completely forgot to say anything about the wax seals but these are my favorite wax seals i've made in a very long time the colors are absolutely perfect i love them so much uh, i think i managed to quite nicely match the wax seal colors to the colors of the actual project so i had to include them as gifts um i didn't make them for a video if i'm pretty sure i think i just made them randomly but it was nice i haven't been wax sealing in a long time I uploaded that to Instagram the other day saying that I never really add wax seals to my envelopes anymore but because I used to do the Crossfire videos, you know, like the brand, um, the, the website Crossfire, they would send me wax seal stamps and I would make videos for them and I made so many wax seals in such a short time, both for the videos as well as because I really enjoyed doing it. I actually kind of lost my joy in wax sealing. So I'm just leaving my supplies for a while now and I think I will come back to it um, when I am not bored of it anymore. <laughs> like when you do something too often, it's just not as fun anymore. So I'm just adding some of the goodies from the pack to this envelope that came with the set. I just covered it up with a die cut and some paper to make it blend in more. The top envelope is going to have my letter. And of course there's goodies included in the pages as well. We have the wax seals and we have the washi tape sample and then the bottom envelope has the die cuts and, that, and the stickers that I put in the little gift baggie. And now I'm just adding some more Nouveau drops. I'm going to show you the project one more time once it's finished. And then we're gonna go straight to the unboxing of the Your Creative Studio box that was so kindly gifted to me by Amanda. If you like this tutorial, there's many, many more on my channel, um, both with Your Creative Studio as well as other brands and just my regular stash. So be sure to check that out and I hope you enjoy the unboxing. <laughs> Bye. Hello friends. It's time for a new unboxing. This is the June 2022 stationery box from your creative studio. Now I'm filming this in September because she actually messaged me in September saying, hey, do you wanna receive the June box? Because I have a couple left over. I'm guessing because I, I sent, I said, yeah, I think I, I think I have some time for like crafting and filming. What is the theme? She didn't reply to that message, she just sent me the box. So I think this has to be something like flower theme or I don't know, but I think it's like uh, kind of like the agreement we have is that I only do the boxes that are um, my style. Themes that I can work with basically. So take a look at what is inside. Oh yes, is that a flower theme? The flowers, oh my god. I think this is a flower theme. So this, I, I'm posting this at the end of the video because um, not everyone is whoa, interested. Oh my god, I love what I'm seeing so far in the actual unboxing. But you could of course watch this at the beginning. I don't know, I'm rambling on. I have this. Oh, it's 
collage papers, I think. It's in a box. I think that's kind of cute. I kind of like the size of a box. I think that could be repurposed. So there's two different types of paper. We have these larger ones. So there's these. And then some like vellum ones. I'm not going to show all of them, but you know, just for a general idea. And then we have the tiny ones. Oh, are these stickers? Just realizing now, this is paper, but this definitely feels like a sticker. These are stickers, this is paper. They're, that's actually kind of cool. I mean, this is maybe a little dark for my taste. Like, not colorful enough. Ooh, satisfaction guaranteed. Ooh, this one is nice. This one as well. So I think I will actually use most of these for gifts, although they could actually be kind of nice in like a collage. I love these types of stickers because they're, they blend in real nicely and they're not shiny. So there's a ton of them. It's actually kind of nice. I like the combination of paper and sticker. I have to go fast. How am I already filming for four minutes? Then next up, what is this? It just says post box. Oh my God, it's sticky. So that means it's definitely stickers. Oh my God, these are gorgeous. They're actually stamps. Oh, and I think this is also like that washi tape like sticker, you know, so it's like a little bit um, translucent. I actually can't get one. Oh yeah, there we go. Yep. So it's like washi tape, you know, a little bit translucent, but with a clear print. I love that. You could just tear these out and send it, them to someone else or use them yourself. Obviously a flower theme. This is perfect. That's so cute. I love that. Now we're going to grab one of these because this is a pick your, or what am I saying? Pick your mix, your creative studio um, original stamp. As you can see, cling stamp. Absolutely love those. Let's see. Oh, it's multiple. Oh, I love that. It's flowers and script, which is absolutely perfect. I think, whoops, I dropped them. I love script stamps. Should I turn off the light for this? Maybe that's better. Yep, that's definitely not better, but it's so difficult to see when the lamp is on it. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is really cute. I love, I've already said it. I love flowers, I love scripts. So this is basically. So the theme is definitely flowers, right? I think we've established that. Oh, I see a washi tape. Are you kidding me? This box is so up my alley. I'm gonna grab this one first. This is clear stickers. I'm not gonna unpack it. I think you should be able to see it. It has clovers on it and little um, flowers. Whoops. Can you see that all right? Adorable, love that. Maybe this is easier, I don't know. I'm gonna grab this one. Whoops. Oh, what is this? I like the bag as well. The bag has like a what is this called? A doily design on it. What is this though? Oh, it's not the bag. It's actually, is this a sticker? What is this? I don't think it's not a sticker. No, this is like a clear collage sheet. This is so odd. I've never seen this before. Could be kind of fun to turn into a shaker, like cut this out, turn it into like a window of some sort. This beautiful, can you even see that? I quite like that. I have no clue how I'm gonna use this though. So if you have any ideas, do let me know. And then the rest of it is absolutely wonderful. It feels like vintage paper. It's obviously not real vintage, but it could be just because of how it feels and how thin it is and how delicate. Love those. They're all script, like all handwritten. They're made to look like old letters, you know, like they've been cut and thorn, and not thorn, torn. Oh, that is really nice. I like that. I love these for collaging. I also love kind of random, but that there's different tones of yellowing. So you have one for each color scheme. Really like that. I'm gonna make 
make a mess again. I am going to grab this, which is another Your Creative Studio original. It's these clear stickers. They're like matte, which I absolutely love. I do not like shiny stickers, um, which is why I love all of the washi tape stickers. They're matte and see-through. Kind of simple. One design, but I do like this. This is something I would definitely use. I'm gonna grab the other cling stamp. This is another beautiful um, flower stamp, quite detailed, like quite uh, a, a different, what am I even saying? Quite a lot of flowers, <laughs> quite a busy design. Maybe that's the right way to say it. But I do think that is very pretty. Um, I am gonna grab the washi. I've been looking at it this entire time. I just wanna know, it says masking tape. Every time there's a washi tape in the boxes, I like it, but it's usually a bit too dark for my style. Like I don't really work with super dark colors. This time it's yellow, which is something else, but it's light. So I actually think I will get much more use out of this than the darker ones has a rose design on it, kind of vintage, kind of vintage, it's definitely vintage. And in the background is kind of like a yellow polka dot, which is definitely something else, but I have to say I like it. It cheers me up a little. And then we've got this little baggie that says retro labels, can never go wrong with retro labels. I, would, I think I would call these tickets more than labels though. Oh, they're so tiny. And they have, some of them have, or all of them, I guess, have a little bit of gold foiling on them. Am I gonna show all of them? I don't know. There's a, oh yeah, okay, there's some labels. Huge varieties. As far as I can tell, it's probably, let me move this aside, probably two of each. Or not two of each. Yeah, two of each. And then tons of different. This is so random. Like, what the heck is it? Triangle with a triangle doing in this set. Lots of different ones. Lots of variety, kind of like that. Some of these are very random, like another train. Uh, but it, I guess it would make sense because this is also like tickets for a train. Raw denim. Just various types of labels and tickets and stuff, but all of them are really in a lovely minty green color scheme. Which is perfect. Then, oh, I see some things you guys are gonna love. This is, oh, it's in, an, it's in a vellum bag. Oh yes, it's a sticker. Sticker! It's a sticker, okay. It smells very weird, I have to say. It's a sticker and it's like a combination of script and yellow flowers, which is absolutely lovely once again. Absolutely wonderful. These will make great gifts, as well as a nice collage item. Sorry, that was my boyfriend coming home. out. So these will be perfect for the project that I'm hoping to get some inspiration for sometime soon. I, I like this one. It's the butterfly. Could make it quite a nice, what am I saying? I'm mumbling. Could make a nice address label as well with yellow roses. So these are actually really, really nice. I feel like the quality of the items included has definitely gone up. Here is one of the things that I think everyone is going to be so excited about. It is exclusive paper ephemera. Now I've had paper ephemera before in one of these packs. It was the bigger, like the butterfly die cuts. Ooh, but these colors are perfect. It's like vintage, but at the same time, colorful, which I absolutely love. I immediately think this is going to be my favorite. So let's make some space. We have a ton of different ones. They're quite big. What I like about them in comparison to the butterfly ones is that they're thinner because the butterfly ones were really thick, making them quite hard to use because, you know, they're going to bulk up your project. These are sturdy enough, but also kind of thin. Perfect. Hello, boyfriend. I'm just waving some labels. Oh, this is perfect. I really like this. I really like this. My new favorite item in the box. Yes, so I will have one to use and one to share. I don't know what this is, though. It's like tissue paper, but very dainty, very delicate. 
kind of nice. So there is one, two, three, four. Yep, four of the same design. Quite nice, really light, really light. And then there's this, which is a paper pack that I love. <laughs> I actually, um, from all of the Your Creative Studio boxes, I think this has, this is my favorite actually, because not only do I love the theme, but the colors are so light and bright, I guess, uh, much more easy to, oh, what the heck, much easier, oh, what the heck, <laughs> much easier to use than um, the darker ones. Okay, so I was like discovering this pack as I was talking. There's one design, four different, or four papers. So there's two thinner ones, which is these, just regular paper thickness. Then there's one cardstock version, and then there's one vellum, all the same design, kind of like that. You have like multiple options. We have a green design, which I love. These colors are perfect. I, I like this so much, I'm really excited. Then we have this kind of like Baroque, is this called Baroque? I have no clue, maybe I'm messing that up. We have this one, which is kind of the general design we've seen more often. It would have been so much fun if the washi design was this as well. Although, of course, the yellow makes a lot more sense now that I know that this is like yellow polka dots as well. So we have this design, which is probably my favorite. We have the yellow polka dots. This, I don't know what that, what to call that. Ooh, this is lovely. That's lovely. This one, there's so many. And then we have this one. I think that's the last one, yep. So that's a full box. And um, that is all. My whole desk is filled with stuff. I have no energy to craft right now, but I think I have some ideas on what to make with this. So um, I'm really pleased. Let me know your favorite item in the pack. For me, it's like the original items. So these lovely die cuts the papers, um, but also, I th actually, there's not one item in here. Mm, my, it would maybe be easier to highlight my least favorite item. My least favorite item would be this one, the pack with the stickers and the papers, because it's a little bit more dark, all the rest has like these lovely colors. But I'm actually super happy. I like everything in here, which is great. Um, let me know what is your favorite item and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you again very soon. Okay, bye!